now, let's discuss about relationship between rectangular or Cartesian and polar coordinates. Alright, so as you can recall from the earlier parts of this video, I do mention about rectangular or two-dimensional coordinate system and also polar coordinates. As you can see from here, if you put polar coordinates side by side, with Cartesian coordinate uh, by right you will see that the polar axis in polar coordinates represent x axis in Cartesian or two-dimensional coordinate system and the fixed point or origin in polar coordinate represent origin in two-dimensional coordinate system so if we put them on the same uh, axis so I will get Okay, I believe each and every one of you are familiar with right angle triangle formula where you have sine theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta. And the formula will come naturally from your mouth by right sine theta is actually um, opposite of a hypotenuse. So in this case, opposite of theta should be y over hypotenuse r. Meanwhile, cosine theta adjacent over hypotenuse, I will have x over r and tangent theta is actually y over x. So from here, you will get y is equal to r sine theta. From here, you will get x equal to r cosine theta. And from here, theta is equal to tangent inverse y over x. So what can you do from this formula? Basically if r and the value of theta is given to you by right you can find x and y coordinate and we can also put into here the Pythagoras theorem such as r is equal to z x squared plus y squared. Alright you can use these four formulas to convert from rectangular to polar coordinates or from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. So let's put into practice by taking into consideration to solve this example. So the example is given in terms of rectangular coordinates and you are asked to convert to polar coordinates. So 2, 5 in rectangular coordinates and you would like to convert to polar coordinates okay if you can illustrate to 5 in two dimensional coordinate system that involve y versus x so it will lie somewhere in the first quadrant so in this case what should i do I have to make use of the formula to determine the value of r and theta such as theta is equal to tangent inverse y over x and r equal to z x squared plus y squared. So in this case, I know that my x is equal to 2 and my y is equal to 5. And then I just put into the formula to determine the value of r and theta. So in this case, theta is equal to tangent inverse y over x, tangent inverse 5 over 2. And you will get the answer exactly like what you have in the screen, such as 68.2 degree. And r is equal to x squared plus y squared. So in this case, 2 squared plus 5 squared, you will end up having z29 as the value of your r. So I will write down in polar coordinate system that consists of r and theta, z29 and 68.2. Right? So this is how you convert 
the point given to you from rectangular to polar coordinate system. Alright. And let's take a look at the next example where perhaps I can give this uh, question come from me such as plot 1 pi in polar to rectangular rectangular coordinate system means that you need to convert from r theta to x y so in this case um, not necessarily for you to use the formula you can simply uh, sketch 1 pi or plot 1 pi in polar coordinate system and roughly have the ideas what will happen to x and y so in this case this is your 1 pi so as you can see from here it will lies at the x axis negative on this particular horizontal line so by taking into consideration the location of 1 pi in polar coordinate system so you can imagine what is the value of x and y in rectangular coordinate system so it should tell you the value of x will be negative 1 and at the same time the value of y obviously equal to 0 since it lies on x axis okay you can either use the formula or you can simply use your imagination by mapping these points either in polar coordinate and rectangular coordinate system mm -hmm.